Demons community, welcome back to another video here with Kyle Chris. Today we're going to be going over the first leader that was revealed for set 21, which is going to be the Super Saiyan Blue um, God, Super, Super Saiyan, I don't know what, what, what people are going to call this leader because it's two different characters, right? Um, call it the Super Saiyan Blue Duo, I don't know, they're going to think of something, some weird name for it, but essentially we have Super Saiyan Blue Son Goku on the Unawakened side. And once we awaken, we go into Super Saiyan Fujita. Now, this technically isn't, I should actually even say awaken, because it's not really an awaken leader. This is a flip Saiyan leader, which is very cool concept. Um, so, in this video, we're going to go over the cards, um, a brief description of the cards, and then we're actually going to go in and build a deck. Uh, now, obviously, we don't have any TPs. Um, there's still a ton of other cards to be revealed. So, these think of these as like templates, right, for like what the deck could potentially look like. Um, we'll be using most of the archetype cards if they are, you know, um, um, if we feel they are good cards, mixing with some older cards as well, just, tr just to try to make the most, um, uh, competitive template we can make for this. And I'm sure, you know, you can take it and then just kind of add your own spice to it, which is the whole point of these videos is just to make a template for people. So as always, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Thank you guys for the support. We're on our way to 2000 subs. Um, yeah, it's been fun. Yeah, I'm very excited for this this set. So far, the cards that have been revealed in this set look really cool. I'm excited to see what the black leader is going to be. Um, I'm hoping it's going to be the one that's been kind of rumored or leaked or whatever it is for the past like year and a half, which was uh, the Fujito, I believe. Uh, but we'll see. It might not be the Fujito. It might be something else. So, uh, all right. So we have Super Saiyan Blue, Sun Goku, and Fujito. So the Goku says when this card attacks, you draw one. This card gains 5k for the uh, for the battle, so your leader goes up to 15k. And then after using this card in a battle, flip this card to the backside. Uh, auto at the end of you or your opponent's turn, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, and it costs a 4 less in rest mode, and KO it. And then activate battle limit 1 if it's your turn, choose up to one of your yellow Fujita cards with an energy cost of 2, and that card gains 5k for the battle. Uh, this is pretty cool. Um, this is going to be a very interesting deck to sequence. Uh, so you can you know utilize all of the effects on these cards but uh you swing you go up to 15 and then you flip over to, to the fajita and the fajita has after using this card in the battle you draw one and then flip this card to its front side so it just says after using this card in a battle so if your opponent swings at this card the card will flip um so it's either on your turn or on your opponent's turn that can be main uh, limit one flip this card to the front side no other effect and then activate battle if it's your turn, choose up to one of your yellow Sun Goku cards and it goes up two, and it gets 5k for the battle. So, um, the, the Goku seems to be sort of where you want to be on your turn. You want to be on the Goku side, uh, so you can swing, get the extra draw, go up to 5k, um, and then at the end of the battle, you'll switch, you'll switch over to Vegeta, um... Uh, you give you you'll probably it's interesting so like when you're on your goku side you want to be utilizing your fajitas when you're on your fajita side you want to be utilizing your goku so you can get the most out of your attacks um and then on this side then you can activate main flip back to goku if you want um there's different ways you can do it but you probably want to be on the fajita side for your opponent's turn uh then they'll attack you you flip over the other side like there's there's different ways you can do it it's, it's very very cool um so we'll go over the first set of cards here which are going to be the two z cards that were shown off we have Super Saiyan Blue, Sun Goku, finishing below. This is a 10k deflect dual attack. Uh, if you add one yellow Vegeta with any cost of two to your hand, I'm assuming this means on the battlefield, because uh, it's not specifying and the cards don't have special traits unless they're on the battlefield. So it's it's more likely going to be in the battlefield. Uh, at the start of your main phase, play this card under a uh, yellow Whis Z battle card, which is the one to the right. Auto, if your opponent has five or more cards in rest, but when this card is played, this card gains crit and barrier for the turn. So it becomes a deflect, dual attack, crit, barrier, 10k that your leader can also give an extra 5k to. So once card is actually that's one of your opponent's battle cards, the rest will KO it, and this card gets 5k for the turn. So this auto is not once per turn. So this card will swing uh, if you use your Fujita effect on the on, on your awakened side. You can make this card a 15k base. It'll swing, KO something, goes up to 20k. Now it's a 20k crit. Uh, and then on the second swing, it'll be a 25k crit. That's very powerful. Very, very powerful. Uh, we have Whis Time Regression. Uh, this is a Deflect Unique. Yellow stack. Um, this particular Goku, or a yellow Goku that costs two, so I guess you can use the Majin Vegeta one as well. 
permanent your yellow sun goku and vegeta card with the energy cost of two get 5k power so then you just kind of buff literally your entire board if your leader is a super saiyan blue vegeta god level power when this card is played skip all phases until the start of your next turn and then start your main phase so there was some interesting um confusion around this card when it first wasn't was it was announced um it's not as good as some other cards uh like i don't know like the 12 drop Whis or the 15 drop Whis, whatever that card is that actually skips your entire opponent's turn this skips the rest of your turn and your opponent's turn and then starts in your main phase meaning you don't get the charge meaning you don't get to untap anything which you would think is really bad it's like why would you want to do that well we'll go over some cards here that actually make it a little bit more enticing to do that because you don't actually need energy <laughs> in this deck to actually play some battle cards which is really cool so the first card first two cards are going to be the cards that we don't need energy to play so we have super saiyan blue goku and vegeta unseizing progress uh, so they both have activate main if your leader is a yellow vegeta or goku so each one have the opposite so for goku you need to be vegeta vegeta you need to be goku uh, and you have the Whis Time Regression card in play, which is the, the Z Battle card we just went over. Uh, you place two of your energy in rest, uh, in rest mode into your drop. Play this card from your hand, and this card gains the following effect. So for Goku, he gains dual attack. For Vegeta, he gains double strike. This is like a weird yellow overrealm. Quite interesting. Um, it's it's definitely for, for pushing for game, is kind of my concept of this um what's interesting too is that the two energy then can go i mean the two energy that you pop goes to your drops now you have the ability to uh, use that for overwhelm so you can also even overwhelm afterwards as well which is really cool um you can play both of these i believe in the same turn um you just have to flip over to the other side in order to do it uh but these are very interesting cards for sure um i don't know there's probably going to be some decks that are going to be going to be like those like like those kamikaze decks that they're going to try to stack like four in there. I don't think you're going to play four of this card, uh, but it is a very interesting card. It's the first card of its kind that we've actually seen in, in something other than black being able to do something like this. Then we have Son Goku and Vegeta waiting to see. Uh, Goku is a 15k dual attacker when this card is played from your hand. Draw one. Active man, if your leader's backside is uh, Vegeta and you choose one of your yellow Vegeta cards, play this card from your hand. The chosen card will not switch to active mode until... until uh, um, switch to active mode during the, your next charge phase you can play it out for one vegeta has the same effect but it is um you choose if you, you choose a goku card uh and then um auto add one card from your life to your hand when this card attacks it gains 10k and double strike for the turn and then at the start of you and your opponent's main phase switch this card to active mode uh so it's kind of like a self-awakener that also swings for 20k double strike which is very very good and so if your leader's backside is super saiyan blue vegeta god level so uh, essentially it's i think they're they're, spe they're specifying it for this particular leader so these cards cannot be played in other decks that's kind of the whole concept of these cards now both these cards are very good cool little trick you can do is it says choose one of your yellow goku or Fujita cards meaning you can choose your leader right so if you uh if you're on the Fujita side and you choose the goku leader if you're able to switch over to the um uh so like if let's say your Goku let's say your Goku leader hasn't swung yet right like you play Vegeta you take you know you tap one do the effect right you choose your Goku leader you swing a Goku leader uh, at the end of the battle you will switch to then the Vegeta side so now that effect now wears off and it's the same thing with the Goku if you have your your Vegeta on the front side you play Goku uh, you tap one or you activate main then you switch over to the Goku now you bypass that effect so it's very cool you can actually do that you can also do it from cards in your energy you can also do it just cards on board. Um, adding more aggression essentially right and both of these are two drops again so you can just buff these cards as well so the Fujita can be a 25k double striker goku can be a 20k base dual attacker again just very very good aggro cards here then we have goku and Fujita trial run uh goku uh, if your leader's backside is the super saiyan blue Fujita, you choose one of your yellow Fujita cards play this card from your hand the chosen card can't be switched to active mode same effect Fujita has the same exact effect as well for Fujita though when he's played he draws a card now and he has crit while the other goku that we just saw had dual attack and drew a card this goku says uh activate main add one card from your left your hand this card gains 10k and dual attack for the turn and then at the start of you or your opponent's main face switch this card to active mode so essentially the goku and vegeta just switched roles so these two gokus here the goku and vegeta here are just reversed from these two here right again just more good cards these are just really really solid cards um, and I think you can end up building a very just a cr 
crazy good generic yellow deck just with using these archetype cards not even we haven't even touched the actual the, the other cards that are in yellow that are you know fantastic uh but these again just very very good cards and all of these are 5k combos right that's great uh if this was a black deck uh and i i don't mean to use this as a as a time to just uh you know talk about the best color in the game but with if this, if, if this deck was a black deck half of these cards would have zero combo co cost or i'm sorry zero combo power this I, I don't know why bandai's done that like this is like this has more aggression than something like dark broly but all the dark broly cards were you know plus zero so just a just a just a hint there so um then we have all the one drops uh that do come in this archetype so we have balma piccolo jocko and krillin um Bulma, if you have three more energy wins cards played, you reduce the energy cost of the Weast Z battle card in your Z deck by two for the turn. Activate main if you have three more energy and you choose two energy in rest mode, you place this card in your drop area, choose up to one of your yellow uh, Vegeta cards, and it costs two. Switch to active mode, all the all the cards that were chosen uh, do not restand during your next phase. It's uh, kind of a way for you to um, um, swing for game, essentially, is, 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 is my guess. Uh, Piccolo is a cantrip. If you have two or more energy wins card, um, when one of your yellow Goku cards and got the two is played, this card gains uh, 6k for the turn. Nah, it's kind of average. Uh, Jocko, also a cantrip. Uh, if your leader's backside is Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, choose up to one of your yellow Son Goku cards and it cost of two. Switches to active mode, so Jocko kind of does the same thing the Bulma does, just reverse. Krillin, uh, top five searcher for a yellow Saiyan with a cost of four or less. And then activate main. All right, I'm um, auto has the same auto as Piccolo. If you play a Goku, this card gets 6k for the turn. So um, just a bunch of other one drops that you can use to you know cycle through your deck for the Jocko and the Piccolo. Uh, I'm sorry for um, yeah for actually all you know all three of those cards they they all draw cards um, and then Krillin searches and then Bulma reduces the Weiss in your hand I, um, in, in your Z deck I believe then it costs one um, one energy so. Uh, we have an extra card in the deck, Training with Whis, permanent during a turn when one of your mono yellow leader flips from its backside to its front, reduce the energy cost of this card by by one yellow. So then it becomes, um, I believe this card becomes free. I think it's I think it's how they word that. Um, activate main, choose it to one of your yellow Sun Goku or Fujita cards, energy cost of two, send it to the warp. Play that card from your warp at the start of your main phase. That card gets 5k for the turn. Now the activate main does not get reduced. Uh, the permanent reduces the cost of the card, so that way this activate main only costs one, and that way the activate battle here costs zero. Choose one of your yellow Sun Goku or Vegeta cards. That card gets 10k for the battle. So this is like a just a, a, a pseudo super combo, actually just a free super combo essentially, but in the form of an extra card. So why the activate main is important is that um, you can, um, if you're able to play Whis and, bu and bypass your um, your charge step or in your opponent's entire turn so you can play a goku frigida from your warp it'll have a 5k buff on it and now you have the ability of swinging with that whether it's probably gonna be a 15 or a 20k already and then your leader can buff it again and um yeah just makes it just makes it you know much stronger and then we have the final two cards which are both of the srs um for one i'm very excited hopefully i'm, I'm sure the goku in the freeze is probably gonna get the spr treatment but both of these cards are very good looking. So we have Super Saiyan Blue, Goku, and Vegeta, Rivalry. Um, this card's got a wall of text. Uh, active main, choose one of your yellow Sun Goku or Vegeta cards, place a card from your hand. Chosen card will not switch to active mode during your next charge phase. Uh, so it's kind of the same effect as all the other two drops. Auto, if your leader is yellow and you add one card from your life to your hand, this card is played, choose one. This card gets 5k and double strike for the turn, or gets 5k and dual attack for the turn at the start of you or your opponent's main phase, switch this card to active mode. Um, Pretty powerful. A one drop, um, 25k double strike or dual attacker, because uh, I'm, I'm also taking into consideration your leader effect, being able to give it 5k. Um, but if you switch between both of your leaders, you should be able to give this card 10k total for the turn, uh, making it a 25k base plus the auto on this card, making it a 30k base for one energy. Uh, and you do have to take a life though, uh, in order to get that effect. So, but this is this is a very very powerful card. And again, just being a two drop, like it, and being Goku and Vegeta, it just fits into the archetype perfectly. And then Super Saiyan Blue Sun Goku and Golden Freeze, a Spirit Clash. Uh, so this again has a wall attacks on it. So it's got Swap Eight, which is uh, for the next deck that we'll go over, which will be the Frieza Swap deck. Uh, you can swap into a Frieza that costs eight. Auto wins cards to play, draw one, choose a twenty of your opponent's battle cards in rest mode, ignoring barrier, and KO it. 
Activate it main, choose up to one of your yellow sand or Frieza army cards. Play this card from your Z energy and add the chosen card to your Z energy. Uh, so this is the card that we are going to play from the Z energy, which is very cool. Uh, we, we I think we've only had one other archetype that's done that so far, which is the uh, green Gogeta BR. We are able to play cards from the Z energy, which is very cool. Activate it main, if you have three or more... Uh, three or more energy and you remove this card from the game play up to one yellow goku or frieza with any cost of two or less from your hand or drop um so this is cool so it, it's a 20k body that removes something uh cycles a car actually just hard draws you a card because this card is played from the z energy um and then you can also pop it to uh play another two drop out which can then um gain you more value so very very good card um i'm also like again i'm just very excited to see what this card's gonna look like because this might be one of the more the one of the better looking sprs that we could have because this this sr art is already all right so for the next part of the video we're gonna cut and go into uh, dbs deck planet and see if we can figure out a good competitive list for the sun goku and fujita deck let us see what we can build uh, so we're gonna go to the yellow leaders and I'm actually very impressed of how quickly uh, DBS Deck Planet was able to put up these uh, these leaders because I think the Frieza and the Goku are already on here. Yeah, uh, Frieza's I think up, up top somewhere. So we have the Goku Vegeta here. Um, so the first thing is we're gonna go into the actual archetype cards themselves and see if we can. Um, we'll go into the one drops and see if we want to add any of those cards. So. Um, I'm not gonna play any of those. So uh, we have, let's see. Uh, no, we don't wanna add that Goku, I don't think. So I wanna add Krillin. I think Krillin was a good one. Um, being able to search out battle cards. Um, I think it's good just being able to shuffle the deck and then this card just becomes a 10K. And then I like Jocko as well. I thought Jocko was a pretty good one. And Jocko here, uh, play draw, and then you can tap one, um, tap one yellow, and backside. So I think you have to be on the. I don't know if this means you have to be on. Um, so I think this is just saying it has to be the Fujita leader, or if you have to be on the Goku side and this has to be the backside. I don't think that's how it is because uh, it just says leader back for Fujita, so it's, it's fine. But then this allows you to restand a Goku. So we're gonna run three of those, and then the Balma. And we're also gonna run three Balma. Uh, Balma. Yep, we're gonna run the Balma because we want to be able to reduce the energy of the uh, the Weiss. All right, so that's ten one drops there. That should be plenty to hit on turn one. Uh, and then we're, now we're gonna go into the two drops, which we have quite a bit of two drops that we can play here. Um, oh, I got Balma on there. It's my bad. And we'll see what we can find. I have some ideas um, that we can potentially do. So we'll just look up Goku first. Grab Goku cards. All right. Um, this is a searchable super combo. That's kind of cool. Uh, we'll put this one up here for now. Um, I just, I don't know if we're gonna run this or run Krillin. Uh, having a searchable super combo though is kind of fire. So we might do that. Uh, let's see, this is an old, old promo. Um, plays for two, it's negate. Eh, if it costed one, we probably would do it. But two for a battle card that doesn't have a floodgate effect as a negate is not. Nah. Uh, we have the new, the new SR, we're gonna run for that. Because it counts as a Goku and a Vegeta. Uh, all right, so we have the uh, self awakener guy. Probably want to run three of this and then three of the other self awakener, which is trial run, I believe, right? Yeah, so we're in three of that, three of that. Um, it's because these cards you have to take a life. You have to take a life when you play it to gain the effect. Um, so we're probably not gonna like. We just need to make sure we have Goku's and Vegeta's. Um, we'll probably end up playing this maybe once, maybe twice per game. Uh, you, then you have the uh, the cantrip ones, so we're going to run four of each of the cantrips. Because um, again, they are one drop cantrips that also just double as attackers. Uh, and then we can always cut stuff later. If you guys watch watch my videos where I make I make decks, I generally run three and four of everything at the beginning. And then we slowly start cutting down stuff later on as the game goes. Or as the, as the video goes, just because we find better tech options that we 
that we want to run and sometimes you just have to you know do it that way um and the five drop uh, i do think we are going to run some of the five drop um uh, probably two of the fire drop. What do we think? Probably two, because it costs two energy. Um, this card might actually end up getting cut, because uh, also it's not searchable. It's also not searchable. So, yeah, you can't search it off Krillin. Yeah, so we might end up cutting this card, because even how good it is um, later on, uh, we'll keep it at two for now. All right. Um, now, obviously, we can just add like good yellow stuff, probably as well. Uh, but I do have a very interesting thing we can try here. So let's go to the three drops. Now, there are a lot of good three drop Goku and Vegeta's because there was a yellow Whis deck that came out forever ago. Now, unfortunately, the deck, I know the deck's topped like some locals and it, it's, I don't think it's ever really done anything on the grand scheme of, of the competitive scene for Dragon Ball, like overall, like in regionals and, you know, bigger tournaments. But the, the archetype cards that come in that set are really powerful. So um, the Goku and the Vegeta, they're called De um, the Deity's uh, Disciples. So uh, you evolve on top of a two drop of whatever one it is, and then you draw a card. Goku, uh, when this card attacks, you get the KO of Battle Card in Rest Mode, and then it gains crit, or it has crit. And when this card's removed, you have to play a two cost from your deck or your drop. Now, it does not say skillless. Uh, so you actually get to play those cards from your um, from your deck or your drop, and Fidita does the same thing. Now, if you look real quick, just to double check. Okay, so unfortunately, when they're played from your hand, is when you draw, so that kind of sucks. But we can still get these cards on board. Um, you also can play out this guy. Um, won't you won't get the the the, um, the take life effect, but also you can play these. Um, and, uh, these will, um, they don't do the effect here, but, um, it's whenever you, you know, you take a life, like, what, or I'm saying, well, whenever you attack. So, but Goku and Vegeta have the ability of playing the opposite guy. So we're going to, we're going to play this card for sure, because this is just a very good, just evolve target. Um, let's see, when your opponent activates a counter skill during a battle with this card, you may restand it. Uh, and it's a 20k double strike. So we'll do two of that guy. I think, think these are very, very good tech options to have. Um, yeah, we're not going to play that guy. This is the promo that came out a while ago. Let's see what this does. It's a blocker. When uh, when you activate when you activate a counter skill, switch this card to active mode. She gets one of your opponent's battle cards, switches to rest mode. And this also plays out a two drop. This one's actually really good. Do that. I know there was another Frieza. Uh, not Frieza. There, there was another Fujita, wasn't there? Yeah, there was another Fujita. Um, <laughs> can also play the. Oh, you can't play that. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, where's the other three drop? There's another three drop. Am I, am I tripping? Maybe it's a two cost. He might be a two cost. Might be a two cost. Yeah, unsurmountable. Uh, yeah, it's only with skillless. Okay. We're not going to play that. Yeah, so we added some of these. I think this card can be decently useful in this. Again, these are just being able to draw, right? Like all of these cards, all these cards just draw, which means, makes me kind of want to cut that just so we can make room for other stuff. Um, all right, so we ran all of those. Got plenty of one drops. Um, I know that Goku we saw earlier, the one drop Goku. I need to read what that card actually searches. Cause this might be something that we want to run so we have this this might actually be mm, maybe this actually might be better than krillin yeah it might, it might actually be better than krillin uh let's go yeah I search top five yeah for a saiyan i think we're gonna run kibito i think kibito is just better because then this way we actually can run um krillin so I, I didn't want to just run Krillin just because Krillin's the better super combo. Uh, I was going to try to fit the Goku in there. But like if you look at the Goku, so this is I think this is something to keep in mind, right? It gets to be a 4-life or less, but you can... Um, it's searchable, but also off of the Vegeta's here, 
you can play a two drop from your deck or your drop area and then you get to play this guy out and then when you combo with this you get to draw a card so technically you can replay your super combos from the drop area which i think is incredible um so i think we're actually just going to stick with this just because this is a just a template video so uh, i'm not actually playing this deck so yeah we'll, we'll go with goku also this is always a 10k combo which i think could be a little a, a little better um and like i said the fact that you can recycle with this so yeah, and it's still searchable off Kabuto Kai because it's a uh, Saiyan cost four or less. So, and then we can do, we can do the bottom effect. Um, for the bot the bottom effect actually could be useful uh, for playing out like Bulma. Um, uh, it doesn't do the top part, but at least the bottom part we can do on the next turn. Um, also can play out Jocko. So yeah, that's yeah, probably good. Okay, um, Goku and Vegeta. There's the four drop, which is searchable. Play that guy. Card's pretty good. I can play this. Yeah, we can still we can still play this card. Might have to include that. And we can play this as well, Ultimate Duo. Um, which is pretty good, so we'll, we'll include those for now. Uh, Fajito, probably Fajito. Um, well, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we'll probably end up playing Fujito. What else can we add? We have, what, 45 cards. We don't really want to go too high. We want to try to keep it as close to 50 as possible with this, because this is going to be somewhat of an aggro deck. Um, so we, do, we, want, we want to make sure that we're hitting we're hitting our cards. Um, so we will do Fujito. Do maybe, like, two Fujito, probably, right? Um... Repost, this might be a deck where you don't, where you, so we might actually, we might actually go to four. Um, because we're not going to be playing Repost in this deck. I don't think we're going to play Repost. My reasoning is we don't run a lot of extra cards. So as you've seen, we haven't really added any extra cards to the deck. And um, that's because we have to fit in the Goku's and the Vegeta's, so... I just, I don't think you can run. It's also not really looking to keep an energy up. You know what I mean? So like, we're not trying to keep an energy up for defense. Um, we'll do three of these. We'll run power. Um, secret rare will probably be Piccolo Gohan, unless they make some better secret rare that's gonna be in the next set, which is completely possible. They, they might just print a better one. Um, you pick up Gohan. We're at 46 cards, so we are gonna have to cut some stuff. Um, you know, what do we want to cut here? So, I can go down to one of each of these. Oh. Now, actually, I like the Vegeta. I think the Vegeta might actually be the better choice here over the uh, Double Striker. Yeah, I think I think we actually were gonna run the promo over this guy. Um, got to cut some stuff. So we, we might have to cut the five drop for now, just because we don't really have the room for it. Uh, this might be a side deck card. Yeah, might be a side deck card. And we'll do cut one Fujito. And I think we might have to cut Maji Fujito because we have enough dual attackers in the deck, or enough attackers. We might we might not need to do that. And actually, this way then we can run the Goku Frieza because I, I I would rather run that card than run. Manja Vegeta for this deck, just so we have some barrier removal if we need it. Uh, we'll do two of those. So, and then the Z deck. Uh, we will do the Z deck. So we don't have a. I'm gonna check Z leaders. I don't think we can play any of the Z leaders though. I don't think so. Can't play the Majin one because you need the actual Majin leader. Yep. I uh, can't play this. So you can technically for energy though. Ooh, uh, well, we lose the flip effect, and yeah, we're not gonna do that. That's 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 silly. <laughs> that's dumb. That's dumb. Yeah, I'm not gonna play any of this stuff. Can we play this? Nope. Uh, BR? Nope, not BR. You're not BR. So we're gonna run uh, probably two Whis, two Goku, um, one Evolved Defender. Um, Probably Oolong. I want Oolong. Um, 
Probably Gamma. Let's do Gamma. Yeah. This deck doesn't need to take its own life to do anything, so and the reason to use surmounting. Um, surmounting actually might be just so we can use our um, token gates. Yeah, I'll do one surmounting the impossible. And I think that's going to do it. I actually, I added, I'm sorry, I cheated. <laughs> We're at 50 card deck. There we go. There we go. I had I had four super combos in there. Pardon moi. All right, there we go. Ooh. Yeah. So that is the list here. Um. So this is just a quick snapshot, but this is just potentially how the, how how the deck could look. I think this card's gonna be very good. If this deck ends up taking off the ground, the secret this this card will probably end up being played because uh, essentially when you activate this. It's just going to tap something else down. Uh, we are kind of a... F uh, also, this card as well. Um, yeah, so you have both of these. And if you, I guess if you negate with this. But these cards will also... This card will restand itself and then tap something down. Uh, which is just some just amount of defense, essentially, in there. Um, but yeah, I think this is... Like I said, this is just a quick, quick overview of what the deck could potentially look like for you guys. Um, so let me know what you guys think down in the comments. If you guys are excited to play this leader... Um, I am not excited to play against this because I know it's going to be at my locals quite a bit. So uh, let me know what you guys think of the list down below. Like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.